other than just pencil and paper, other oceanographers use uh, computer models. Uh, we use in situ instrumentation. Uh, that in situ means in place instrumentation that's actually in the water. Uh, we use remote sensing satellites, that kind of thing. Oceanographers are divided into generally into four types: physical, biological, chemical, and marine geologists. Uh, and the different disciplines use very different tools, obviously, for their research, at least the observational part of it. Um, for example, like the biological oceanographers are, uh, if they're on a ship, they'll be using nets, counting stuff that comes off their nets and looking at what com comes out of the net. Um, or uh, biological oceanographers actually use satellites. There's satellites that measure chlorophyll, ocean color. And so biological oceanographers look at ocean color to measure the, the productivity of the ocean. Um, chemical oceanographers obviously work with the marine chemistry and they're looking at, they're using various chemical techniques to, to see what's in the ocean. Um, they look a lot at um, trace, trace chemicals, things like uh, chlorofluorocarbons and um, isotopes, a lot of isotope chemistry. People use chemical isotopes a lot. Um, geologists tend to do a lot of seafloor mapping, that kind of thing. So you use um, remote instrumentation, which will use sound to map the shape of the seafloor, small features on the shape of the and the seafloor and that kind of thing. So that's some of, the, some of the general tools that oceanographers use more than physical oceanographers.